हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल हैव बीन डूइंग वेल फ्रॉम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर न्यू टॉपिक एंड दिस इज़ अबाउट जीन एक्सप्रेशन एक्चुअली दिस टॉपिक इज कंसिस्ट ऑन थ्री लेक्चर दैट इज लेक्चर नंबर नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी एंड ट्वेंटी वन एंड इन दिस टॉपिक वी वुड बी स्टडिंग अबाउट जीन एक्सप्रेशन दैट इज रेप्लीकेशन ट्रांसक्रिप्शन एंड ट्रांसलेशन सो ईच मीन्स ईच प्रोसेस ऑफ जीन एक्सप्रेशन वुड बी कंसिस्ट ऑन वन लेक्चर सो दैट इज हाउ आई विल कम्प्लीट दीज ऑल थ्री प्रोसेस ऑफ जीन एक्सप्रेशन इन माई ड्यूरिंग माई थ्री लेक्चर फ्रॉम नाइनटीन टू ट्वेंटी वन सो so uh, to is uh, <clears throat> to understand about gene expression first of all we have to understand about uh, what is uh, dna uh, so the uh, dna is a macromolecule and uh, dna is a macromolecule and uh, like other uh, biological macromolecule that are existing in our body like protein carbohydrate lipid so like these uh, biological macromolecule dna is also a macromolecule so what is a macromolecule a macromolecule is that one that is made up of monomeric unit so in the case of as we have studied uh, before Uh, uh, about the carbohydrate uh, metabolism, about the protein and li uh, lipid metabolism, all uh, all these are macromolecules. So in case of uh, uh, carbohydrate, um, um, so in case of uh, for example polysaccharides so polysaccharide are also macromolecule and they are made up of uh, uh, um, small. Uh, um a monomeric unit that is glucose moieties so in case of protein we have understand uh, study before that uh, protein are also macromolecule that are made up of a small uh, a small monomeric unit that are uh, amino acid so in case of dna dna are also macromolecule dna is also macromolecule and it is made up of a uh, nucleotide so in my next slides uh, first we would be studying about the basic structure of dna because it is very important for you to understand about what is dna before understanding the gene expression and the gene expression as actually is the metabolism of dna uh, as uh, from till now uh, from my first lecture to till now we have uh, uh, fr uh, we have already studied about the metabolism of carbohydrate metabolism of protein and lipid however now we would be studying in this uh, topic of gene expression how dna would be metabolized so dna metabolism it's da is it's the way the dna express its gene that is the gene expression so first of all you have to understand uh, means keep in mind that uh, uh, d uh, gene expression is a metabolism of dna and the dna uh, uh, and in the uh, d uh, there are three process of gene expression uh, two main process transcription and translation however tra uh, replication um, is the prerequisite of uh, transcription and translation so this gene expression would be co complete in the three processes one is translation transcription and replication and to understand about the gene uh, expression we have to know about uh, what is the uh, gene and what is the uh, dna so actually uh, dna um is a macromolecule it is made up of a polymeric unit um, uh, it is made up of a, um um simple monomeric uh, uh, polynuclear uh, it is made up of a polynucleotide so dna is a polymer of nucleotide and what is nucleotide um a nucleotide actually is a um a means a basic unit of dna and it is made up of three basic part one is the uh, base and one is the sugar and uh, three um, um, and one is the phosphate group so if we 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 are talking about the uh, tri uh, 
means trinucleotide so it would be consist on three phosphate uh, groups so you have to just keep in mind that nucleotide is a basic unit of dna and dna is a polymer of nucleotide and uh, nucleotide is made up of, uh, consist on three part one is sugar one one is ribose sugar one is base one of the base uh, from four uh, means uh, existing base so we have uh, we will be talking about later um, that uh, what are the rest uh, means other bases of the nucleotide but here right now you have to keep in mind that uh, um, nucleotide is uh, composed on three parts one is base one is ribose sugar and one uh, one uh, is the phosphate group so if our new uh, means uh, um, if a nucleotide is having three phosphate groups, so we will say it as a trinucleotide. Or if a um, if a nucleotide is having two phosphate uh, groups, so it will be dinucleotide. And um, if a nucleotide is ha uh, means uh, having only one uh, phosphate group, so it will be mononucleotide. So these are the nucleotide that are existing in the um, uh, um, both uh, means DNA. So, uh, uh, and what is the DNA? DNA is the genetic material, or is the genetic material. It is the genome. Means, uh, um, so genetic material uh, in uh, means uh, in the living organism, genetic material are of two type. One is uh, RNA and one is DNA. So uh, what uh, there is the difference between DNA and RNA and what make the difference between DNA and RNA actually the ribose sugar and the uh, base, base, one of the base. So uh, in DNA there are three type of bases that are uh, four type of bases that are adenine, guanine, cytosine and thiamine. However in uh, RNA you will find adenine, guanine cytosine and uracil so in uh, uh, rna you will be having uracil in place of thiamine so this is the difference between uh, means difference of bases between dna and rna and one uh, one is the another uh, difference uh, between um, rna and dna rna is having ribose sugar and however the DNA is having deoxyribose sugar so uh, in other words you can say that RNA is having uh, two, uh, the sugar ribose sugar that RNA is ha will be having it will be having two hydroxyl group at two prime and three prime however the um, uh, um, ribose sugar that DNA would be having uh, will be um, um, me say um, uh, containing only one hydroxyl group that will be present at three prime position however two prime position there will be only hydrogen bond that would be present so due to the uh, absence of one hydroxyl group at two prime position the ribose sugar that is found in dna is called as deoxyribose sugar so mm. the nucleotide that are made up of this de uh, deoxy sugar or you can say deoxyribose sugar is called as deoxynucleotide so the dna is uh, uh, containing uh, means the dna is the polymer of deoxynucleotide in other words you can say so the dna and rna is both are both uh, are the genetic material means uh, the type of genetic mater material so the entire set of dna in a cell is called as its ge genome and uh, so and how um, means uh, DNA uh, uh, means these nucleotide uh, means uh, involve uh, uh, for the formation or for the building uh, up of the uh, means larger macromolecule that is DNA uh, uh, or RNA. So actually this uh, um, uh, DNA uh, what happened that uh, the uh, hydroxyl group of uh, DNA uh, the, these nucleotide make uh, join with each other via phosphodiester bond that will, would be formed between uh, hydroxyl group or uh, between the hydroxyl group of one ribose sugar and the um, uh, and the phosphate 
of the other ribose sugar so uh, the, uh, this is the phosphodiester bond that join two nucleotide together and that is how um, uh, means a large number of nucleotide incorporate with each other and form this uh, um, means a helical structure of dna so the dna is having two um, uh, two uh, st strings of this polynucleotide that are twisted on each other so this is the whole dna means a large number of polynucleotide or a large number of nucleotide in each single strand join together and form a single means uh, string of polynucleotide then these uh, two single uh, string of polynucleotide then twist on each other and may, uh, form a helical structure of dna so but what is difference between the dna and rna rna is may, um, is based on a single uh, means uh, uh, chain of the nucleotide so and rna is having the deoxy uh, um, uh, ribose sugar and uh, um, rna is uh, having uracil in uh, he, uh, in place of thiamine so this was whole about the basic that what is the G dna but uh, um, this dna um, uh, where this dna is found in our body or in every cell or in any uh, miss living cell so actually this uh, dna um, um, in prokaryote it is found uh, in the cytoplasm and in eukaryotes it is found in the nucleus but uh, question is this uh, the DNA is made up of a long long string of polynucleotide so how it could be possible for uh, me uh, there is such a long um, polynucleotide to uh, me accommodate in a uh, me uh, tiny cell so actually this uh, long polynucleotide compact uh, on itself um, uh, and uh, make a compact structure that we say as chromosome so for its compaction uh, protein uh, is also help means uh, this um, protein um, compact this long long polynucleotide helical structure and then uh, it form chromosomes so actually uh, uh, chromosomes are the um, um, are made up of protein plus DNA so uh, like this uh, uh, a human being are having uh, 46 chromosome means 23 pair of chromosome so um, and one thing more that uh, we have to keep in mind that when this um, uh, double uh, string uh, twist it on each other so they make uh, they the nucleotide uh, means make uh, hydrogen bonding with each other means that uh, found across from each other so uh, this is the rule that thiamine al uh, always make the bond with adenine and guanine always make the bond with cytosine so wherever we uh, found the guanine you will found the cytosine across from it and wherever you found the thiamine you will find adenine across from it so we can see here so that is how this the two string uh, twisted on each other and then uh, they compact um, with the protein and then uh, make this um, uh, structure that we say chromosome so the complete set of the chromosome that is present in uh, um, each um, living um, um, a living cell is uh, term as uh, its genome so it that uh, it is as act, actually this genome and um, uh, that is uh, uh, these are actually the uh, this dna that uh, make the genome of the uh, means uh, um, this is actually uh, means uh, uh, the genetic material uh, that is ex uh, found in each cell of the uh, complete uh, means uh, complete uh, you can say the complete um, set of the chromosome 
or complete uh, set of the genetic material that is found in each uh, human being is termed as its genome so now question is this now other question is the we have understand what is dna what is nucleotide how it made uh, how it's made up of now we have to understand before uh, going to understand gene expression we have to understand first that what is the gene actually gene is the particular set of the nucleotide that are present on this uh, means double helical structure and this nucleotide actually um, um, actually uh, having a trait or having you can say in other words having a information for example if uh, uh, the gene is having few nucleotide that is having the sequence of uh, means uh, nucleotide and this sequence is uh, 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 means uh, um, means uh, this sequence is having information that uh, uh, someone body color will be white so um, uh, so the gene uh, will be um, correspond to that protein that will uh, give you the uh, white color of your skin so actually we would be studying what is the uh, what is the gene actually gene is a um, you can say um, set of nucleotide uh, that encode for a protein so and this gene is uh, consist on three part uh, means uh, two basic part one is intron or one uh, is exon actually exon means gene consist can be consist on both means uh, uh, intron or exon what is intron intron are non coding region uh, means uh, non coding um, uh, in intron uh, were the nucleotide sequences that would not be means encoding um, protein means any particular type of protein but they would assist for the gene expression however exon always uh, encoded with the protein uh, or having uh, the information uh, for the protection of protein so now uh, we will be coming our uh, means basic topic that is what is the gene expression actually uh, gene expression uh, is the process when uh, dna uh, synthesize rna that this would be transcription and then when rna translated into protein so that uh, would be translation or rna uh, uh, and or the protein would be synthesized from rna so this this process would be called as uh, translation so actually gene expression is the transcription or translation uh, transcription and translation so transcription is uh, when when uh, rna would be synthesized from dna and translation is when when protein would be synthesized from rna however before uh, both these process there is also a prerequisite process um, and without it uh, means uh, um, uh, gene can not be expressed so this is the translation uh, this is the rep uh, replication this is the process of replication so what is the replication actually replication is the process when dna synthesize its copies or we can say when dna synthesize dna so it would be replication so here we can see that uh, what is the replication when dna synthesize dna it will be replication when dna synthesize rna it will be transcription when rna synthesize protein then it will be the translation so before going to um, uh, means uh, um, understand about the transcription first we would be focus on the rep what is the replication so uh, uh, what is the replication so replication is actually um, uh, replication is the process when dna would be synthesized its copies or dna synthesized dna so how dna synthesized with dna so when we we will be having miss dna it will be in double standard helical structure that and two strand of the dna would be 
twist it with on each other on itself so this molecule when and this means uh, a molecule of our dna correspond to the two strand of dna two single strand of dna that would be twisted on each other so for the replication what happened that this two strand would be separate from each other and then on each separate uh, each separate would uh, each uh, means uh, strand would be act as template strand and on each template strand a new strand would be synthesized and that is how then uh, one means uh, uh, dna molecule would be synthesized to new dna molecule and these two new uh, dna mole molecule would be transferred into two new daughter cell that would be um uh, that would be um uh, means uh, appear on the new generation or new of offspring so this is the replication now we will be studying for each process uh, replication transcription and translation that how this replication uh, uh, would be takes place in prokaryote and we will be understand that how this uh, replication would be takes place in the eukaryotes so actually prokaryotes uh, what are the prokaryotes first uh, before understanding about the prokaryotic replication we have to understand about what are pre uh, means prokaryote so prokaryotes are those means cell that are having their genetic material uh, that is not bounded with any membrane means prokaryote are the uh, those um, means uh, um, uh, organism that are not having any nucleus so we can see here this e coli is also a prokaryotic microorganism it is a bacteria and why it is the prokaryote because it's g gene is genome that is the genetic material that is the dna means complete set of genome uh, uh, that is only one <clears throat> Procur uh, means E. coli bacteria is having only one single circular chromosome and it is indicating its complete genome and its genome is found in the cytoplasm without bounded with any nuclear membrane. So, <clears throat> so due to the presence of these, um, this genome without uh, in unbounded form uh, with the nuclear membrane so the due to this reason we say that this is the prokaryote however eukaryotic micro or, um, eukaryotic or, organisms are those organism that have uh, um, their genetic material inside the nucleus or they uh, uh, all those organisms that are having uh, means uh, nuclear membrane around their um, genetic material or around their genome um, so these are the eukaryotic micro uh, means organism so uh, for understand to understand prokaryotic replication you have to understand first that how much means uh, genetic material these prokaryotic microorganism are having so in this case uh, uh, here we are having uh, we are uh, discussing about the uh, replication of a uh, bacteria that is e coli so e this e coli is having right now one or always having miss e coli is always having one single circular double stranded dna molecule so it will be having only one single double stranded circular dna molecule that will be close from all the side so it will not be open from anywhere so it will be single circular dna so uh, and uh, it if it is a molecule of dna so what does it mean it means it is having two two strand as we have understand here so a molecule of a dna is having two strand of uh, two single strand of dna that are twisted on itself so here in the case of the e coli uh, this e coli is having one molecule of a dna that is consist on two single circular two single circular um, two single two single strand that are twisted on each other so and this um, 
प्रोक्रियोटिक डी एन ए इज़ हैविंग ओनली वन ओरिजन ऑफ रेप्लीकेशन हियर वी आर वी से इट्स ओरी ओरी इंडिकेट दैट ओरिजन ओरिजन ऑफ रेप्लीकेशन सो वॉट इज दिस ओरिजन ऑफ रेप्लीकेशन एक्चुअली ओरिजन ऑफ रेप्लीकेशन इज वेयर फ्रॉम वेयर इज द प्लेस ओरिजन ऑफ रेप्लीकेशन इज अ प्लेस फ्रॉम फ्रॉम वेयर द रेप्लीकेशन वुड बी स्टार्ट सो वाई द रेप्लीकेशन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द ओरिजन ऑफ रेप्लीकेशन बिकॉज ओरिजन ऑफ रेप्लीकेशन इज हैविंग फ्यू सिक्वेंसेज दैट कुड बी ईजिली आइडेंटिफाई बाय डिफरेंट एनजाइम दैट हैव टू प्ले दैट हैज टू प्ले देयर रोल दैट हैव टू प्ले देयर रोल ड्यूरिंग द रेप्लीकेशन प्रोसेस सो और दे दैट हैव टू वर्क ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ रेप्लीकेशन so here in this slide we have to understand just that this <coughs> prokaryotic microorganism that is the bacteria here is the in here in this case is e coli <coughs> e coli excuse me e coli is having one single circular double stranded dna and it is also only having one origin of replication and how it if this dna would be replicated these two strand of a dna molecule would would be separate from each other and two new strand would be synthesized each one on each strand so here would we would be saying uh, say uh, means discussing that how the uh, means uh, replication takes place on the origin of replication and how the double stranded dna separate um, uh, its two strand and then a new stand would be synthesized on the each template stand so first of all you have to understand from this picture also whenever you will be uh, means uh, uh, whenever the two stand of a double stranded dna molecule would be separate from each other and two new stand would be synthesized so the each parent stand would be serve as a template stand or we say that the parent stand would be a, is a um, is a template stand so what is template stand template stand is a stand uh, that uh, means give the information or to the other enzyme or to the enzyme of a replication enzyme uh, to uh, means uh, you can say to uh, means uh, synthesize a chain of nucleotide that will would be the corresponding uh, or correspond uh, to the nucleotide that will be present on the template stand so here if we go uh, back so we can see here uh, in this picture what happened here what we discuss here so we discuss uh, i discuss here previously that whenever uh, if you you are having Um, a double stranded dna as uh, i am uh, it is showing here it is a double stranded dna it is having two strand and these two strand um, are the strand of a polynucleotide and these nucleotide uh, join with each other via phosphodiester bond and and these nucleotide join from the nucleotide that are present across from them on the other strand of the dna via hydrogen bonding and how they are means uh, uh, joining with each other they are joining via hydrogen bonding so uh, if uh, just assume that if these two strand would be separate from each other so if you are having th uh, guanine thiamine thiamine and this this strand would be separate from this one strand so what would be happening uh, ha happen then a new strand would be synthesized on this template strand this one strand would be act as a template strand and a new nucleotide a new strand of a, a polynucleotide would be means uh, synthesized uh, on the template strand so um, so the, uh, the uh, as here we are seeing here these two when template stand would be separate so new new strand of synthesize would be uh, 
new strand of nucleotide would be synthesized so the what template strand does actually template strand gives the information to the uh, enzymes of replication to add up the nucleotide that will be the corresponding uh, means or op, means uh, uh, that would be the corresponding nucleotide of, of the nucleotide that would be present on the template strand so as i have already discussed with you that there is a rule that always whenever thiamine would be present in the dna strand template strand so a adenine will join with it or if the guanine would be present in the template strand so another cytosine would be uh, join with it so how this cytosine and adenine would be adding on the this template strand this is by the enzyme that are the enzyme of replication and we are going to st study about these enzyme in our coming slides but you have to just um, uh, at this stage till this stage you have to just means uh, understand this whenever template strand uh, um, whenever the two dna strand would be separate from each other these two strand would be act as a template strand and the template strand would be uh, means act uh, or uh, would be um, uh, means help uh, for the enzyme of replication to add up the nucleotide uh, corresponding to the nucleotide that would be present on the template strand so here we are uh, seeing this the uh, uh, e coli um, chromosome and this is the origin of replication that we have see here we have seen here so you you can see that this is this was with uh, uh, this was uh, the uh, double stranded dna so uh, now we are seeing here how this double standard DNA uh, uh, separate uh, or um, open up its two uh, single strand and how the uh, new strand synthesize on each template strand. So uh, whenever uh, replication is start so what happened first uh, first of all from this uh, picture we have to understand this about the uh, enzyme and protein that would help in replication so uh, for the replication uh, there uh, were various enzyme that would be help so one by one we would be discussing about their name and their uh, role that they play in the during the replication so first of all uh, first enzyme that would uh, be used uh, full or use or play their role in the replication is the helicase enzyme so what this helicase, helicase enzyme do it this helicase enzyme actually is a unzipping enzyme means it would unzip two strand of dna so uh, and where it will be take place it will be takes place near the uh, origin of replication or on the origin of replication so when this dna stand like we can see here at the origin of re replication the helicase enzyme would be unzip this two strand of dna so first would be the uh, first enzyme that will be involved for the uh, means um, for the initiation of you can say replication would be be helicase enzyme and then what would be happen then after that another enzyme that is the primase enzyme would synthesize a small primer on the template stand so what is the uh, purpose of this uh, uh, primer actually primer is a short piece of dna uh, or short nucleotide uh, of dna or short piece of dna that is consist on few nucleotide so actually this prim uh, primer would assist for dna polymerase to start uh, polymerization or to start polymerizing the um, many 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 or thousands of nucleotide on the template stand so without the primer actually um, without the pri pri primer it would be difficult for dna polymerase to start the polymerization process so 
सो दी नेक्स्ट मीन सेकेंड एंजाइम वुड बी दी प्राइमेज दैट विल सिंथिसाइज अ शॉर्ट प्राइमर ऑन दी डी एन ए टेम्पलेट स्टैंड नाउ द थर्ड एंजाइम वुड बी दी डी एन ए पॉलीमरेज थ्री दैट इज द मेन एंजाइम ऑफ डी एन ए रेप्लीकेशन एंड दिस डी एन ए पॉलीमरेज थ्री वॉट इट विल डू इट विल एक्चुअली मीन्स इंसर्ट द न्यूक्लोटाइट और uh it what it does it will we can see here so this polymerase what this polymerase will do this polymerase actually will add up the new nucleotide on the dna template stand via making phosphodiester bond between um, uh one uh, rib hydroxyl of one ribose and the phosphate of other ribose of the other nucleotide so um one ribose sugar of previous nucleotide uh, would make uh, means uh, hydroxyl group that would be present on the one ribose sugar of the previous nucleotide would attack um on uh, alpha phosphate group and then uh alpha phosphate group of the uh, ribose sugar of the other nucleotide and that is how it will make a phosphodiester bond between two nucleotide so this reaction would be catalyzed by dna polymerase and that is how a large number of nucleotide would be add up on this template stand so it will be done by dna polymerase 3 and after that what would would happen after that what uh, would happen after the um, means uh, uh, adding up a large number of nucleotide on the dna template stand uh, what will happen uh, this dna polymerase uh, one would remove this primer and then after the removal of this primer the nick that will be remaining would be fill up by this dna ligase enzyme and then what uh, this topo isomerase uh, would uh, be doing here actually when this uh, helicase enzyme separate two dna strain so the dna would uh, suffer from a, a mis tension or uh, super coiling so this to uh, topo isomerase enzyme would uh, release this super coiling and um, there uh, there is also single stranded binding protein what does this single stranded bi binding protein is doing whenever this dna uh, two dna template strand would be separate from each other so what will happen the single stranded binding protein would bind on each template strand and make it straight so dna polymerase uh, easily will run on the template strand and would synthesize the new strand on the template strand so one thing more um, that have you have to understand here that this dna polymerase only has ability to synthesize dna from 5 prime to 3 prime direction so uh, the dna uh, means that we are having it is having two strand one strand would be 5 prime to 3 prime and other strand would be 3 to 5 prime so on the uh, the uh, uh, so the strand that is 5 to 3 prime uh, we say this strand as a leading strand and the strand that is 3 to 5 prime it is the leading strand why it is the leading strand because the template strand is uh, from 5 to 3 uh, 3 to 5 prime so the uh, dna polymerase 3 uh, synthesize dna always 5 to 3 prime so uh, it is a rule of the replication or synthesis of dna that uh, always dna synthesis would be uh, means go from 5 to 3 prime so the uh, stand on that the dna synthesis would be uh, means complete into 5 from 5 to 3 prime direction Uh, we say this stand as a leading stand however the uh, um, other stand on that the synthesis uh, is again means uh, take uh, will go on 5 to 3 prime but the the stand would be 5 to 3 prime so it would be the leading stand 
so uh, actually what is the problem the dna polymerase 3 uh, or dna polymerase enzyme could not synthesize dna from 3 to 5 prime so it is it can only uh, synthesize dna from 5 to 3 prime so the template stand that is the leading stand that is having its direction from 3 to 5 prime in this uh, is template stand dna polymerase easily uh, synthesize DNA from 5 to 3 prime however what is the problem DNA polymerase um, so far problem uh, when it has to synthesize uh, means DNA on the ledging stand because the ledging stand is 5 to 3 prime direction and DNA polymerase cannot run uh, on the uh, uh, means uh, on the uh, this ledging stand from uh, three to fives so how this dna polymerase overcome this uh, uh, difficulty so dna polymerase 3 overcome this, this difficulty by synthesizing the dna on the ledging stand in short fragments so these fragments that are synthesized on the ledging uh, stand in uh, means these these short fragment of dna that are synthesized by dna polymerase 3 on the ledging stand are term as okazaki fra fragment so the dna polymerase 3 synthesize okazaki fra fragment on the ledging stand and these okazaki fragment are also always uh, synthesized from 5 to 3 direction so you have to keep in mind that dna replication would always go or would always means uh, uh, DNA replication always go from 5 to 3 prime direction means DNA polymerase 3 always synthesize DNA from 5 to 3 prime direction so uh, so this was the when the uh, two strand of DNA would be synthesized so the two, two DNA molecule would be separated and then it is uh, transferred into two new daughter cell so th this uh, would be the uh, means uh, um, result of the DNA replication so this was the old DNA replication about the how it uh, takes place in the prokaryotes however now we would be studying about the DNA replication uh, how it uh, would be takes place in the eukaryotes more or less DNA replication in prokaryotes and eukaryotes are not uh, so much different however there are differences that we, we would study um, uh, in the coming slide but you have to understand that in the eukaryotes the DNA replication uh, means start from the uh, origin of replication and the what enzyme that are uh, taking part in the eukaryotic DNA replication uh, these are the single standard binding protein these are the protein and what enzyme they take uh, uh, take part in the eukaryotic DNA uh, replication so the first enzyme would be the helicase that is unzip the um, uh, means the two strand of the DNA on the leading is uh, on the uh, two strand of the dna at the origin of replication or near the origin of replication and then what uh, happened then this single standing uh, st standard binding protein or ssbp these protein would bind with the two both template stand of dna and make them straight means keep them straight and then what happened after that after that a short primer would be synthesized on the template stand by the enzyme primase and after that the dna polymerase uh, uh, after that the dna polymerase alpha would synthesize dna would start synthesize dna dna polymerase alpha would start synthesize dna after uh, means from this uh, small prime rna primer and then what happened then uh, and what the, after that what happened then dna polymerase delta and dna polymerase eta then extend this dna and then uh, after that what uh, happened then this topoisomerase enzyme would release the uh, tension that would generate 
due to the uncoiling of the DNA. And after the uh, means repli uh, replication, the primer would be, uh, would be removed uh, by the um, another enzyme uh, means uh, DNA polymerase alpha and um, uh, DNA polymerase delta. And then what happened then? And then and then. Um, uh, then this uh, remaining uh, means uh, gaps would be sealed by the uh, ligase enzyme. So this was the whole about the DNA how uh, replication takes place in eukaryotes. So uh, now we would be studying here that what is the difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic replication. So first of all we have understand about the uh, means genetic structure of DNA and RNA that are means uh, structure of DNA and RNA that are present in uh, structure of the DNA that are present in prokaryote and eukaryote. So eukaryote is having the DNA that is uh, for example if we will talk about the um, uh, if we will talk about the prokaryotic uh, means uh, microorganism or bacteria so e or the E. coli it is having the single circular DNA. So this DNA is having only one origin of replication so the replication would be start in the prokaryote from one point and one origin of replication however the eukaryote are having the DNA or the their genetic material in the linear form so it is having multiple origin of replication and in eukaryote the uh, replication is start at multiple points uh, point so this is one uh, main uh, means difference between the uh, replication of prokaryote and eukaryote and other difference is the um, as uh, we have discussed that dna that is present in the prokaryote are not bounded with the uh, membrane so the uh, prokaryotic replication would takes place in the cytoplasm however eukaryotic rep replication would takes place in the nucleus so it is the next uh, means the, um, difference and one more thing that as we uh, know about this uh, that um, uh, uh, prokaryote uh, eukaryotic DNA is uh, um, is uh, present in the um, nucleus and uh, the in eukaryote the DNA replication is takes place mainly during the S phase of the cell cycle however in the prokaryote this is a continuous process means it is not means uh, uh, um, uh, restricted to, to any phase of the cell cycle and then um, there is the difference between the enzyme in prokaryote DNA polymerase 1 and DNA polymerase 3 are involved. However, in uh, the uh, replication of eukaryotes, tick DNA, DNA polymerase alpha, um, uh, eta and theta are in involved, uh, alpha, eta and delta are involved. However, the ligases are, uh, ligases are the enzyme that are involved in the replication of both means uh, DNA and RNA and primer uh, also primase enzyme is also present in both and the single standard binding proteins are also present in both rep, uh, replication of both of the organisms however the principal enzyme of replication that are principally involved in the replication are DNA polymerases that are having difference in the prokaryotic and eukaryotic microorganism and then um, uh, in uh, prokaryote the okazaki fragment are large however the eukaryote the uh, okazaki fragments are small so these are the difference between the uh, prokaryotic and eukaryotic replication and um, now you uh, I, we, if uh, uh, here are these some links so we have if you wish to understand more in more details so you can go on these links so i hope you have um, miss uh, find this lecture and uh, miss interesting and understandable thank you very much and allah hafiz